The stage is set and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Stay with us. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal versus Argentina. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. meaning we find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center ahead of the 2022 World Cup final my name is Derek Ray and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson and as you can imagine on this occasion the atmosphere is building up nicely it's Portugal versus Argentina well what an occasion for these two sets of players a chance to be world champions let's hope the game matches the atmosphere it should be an absolute cracker i can't wait for this to start going well plenty of players waiting in the middle can he put it in and it's in we've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 world cup final one to save Well, let's take another look now, and it's a superb cross by Messi. And then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. Goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Bruno Fernandes. And he saw the situation developing. McAllister, Marcos Acuna, in position. Well, if truth be told, he made it rather straightforward for the keeper. Well, he knows it. That is a real waste of a great opportunity. Bruno Fernandes, Ronaldo. Oh, the threat is there. Save, but still a chance. And I think the threat has been averted. Well, they're creating chances. They now just need to take one of them. Mind you, what a save that was. Yes, end-to-end -end stuff, but now they're forced to track back. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Ruben Neves. Now oh, that's a well-timed pass. Oh, did so well to deny him. Let's see about the delivery. Well, that header was never going to be problematic for the goalkeeper. Rodrigo de Paul. And Messi! And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and just look at these fans! The trophy coming their way! 
surely. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And what a clever bit of play it was from Messi, both with his movement and his finish. That's a nice goal. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Lionel Messi. Otavio. Ronaldo. And the keeper there to deal with it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, he gave it quite the whack, but not on target. Romero, De Paul, oh he's gone for goal, you certainly can't fault them for trying as they keep the pressure on, well that was a decent effort and you just sense the goals coming here, Well, those stats don't surprise me. Argentina have certainly had more of the ball and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. And in with a real chance. A goal! And it's very much game on here. Let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And this is Ronaldo at his best. He's composed, he shows great technique, and he just smashes it beyond the keeper. So back underway, and let's see, can Portugal find another one? Cristiano Ronaldo. Diogo Dallo. Fernandes. On to Ronaldo. Well, it wasn't a simple save to make. And now the delivery. Still not clear. Joao Felix. The ball with Otavio. Bruno Fernandes. And it's fallen for Ronaldo. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. And he's fired over the corner. And the problem not completely solved. Oh, blocked it! Otavio. Body in the way. Alvarez. This attack looks highly promising. He takes aim. Has eyes for goal. Well, the shot seemed like a good option, but goalkeeper's ball. Diogo Dallo. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Well, the goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. And over comes the corner. It comes to nothing in the end. Diogo Dallo. Joao Felix. 
tremendous block. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Now can they counter clinically? But it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. This is looking threatening. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. So back underway here into the second half. It's a promising move from Portugal. A fine reading of the situation. That's useful play. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. And beating the defender. And reading it absolutely superbly. Lionel Messi. Well, no stopping him. Can he find the net? He scored once already and close to making it a double. Well, every time he gets on the ball, he looks a real danger today. And they will make the change now. Can he convert? Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. And another corner, hot on the heels of the last one. Who can they pick out? Well, you have to categorise that as a missed opportunity. Cristiano Ronaldo. Misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. Well, Argentina have really started to dominate the play over the last 15 minutes and have been threatening with it. Surely it's only a matter of time before they get another. Paredes, Alvarez, showing a real will to win the ball. Molina, Enzo Fernandez. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Ronaldo. He takes aim. Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, but there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plum. It's a great goal. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Paredes. De Paul. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Could be a chance to break here. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Determined block. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. 
the short option preferred. Rodrigo de Paul. Nicely saved. It's a short corner. Well, pressure building. Another corner. Now sending it in. No nonsense clearance. It is a decent looking attack here. Shot attempted. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Read it well, intercepting it. Messi. And lining it up. But into the keeper's gloves. That's how to dispossess your opponent. Romero, De Paul, now can they create something, magnificent defending, Messi, Martinez, Molina could play it in and just what was needed from the goalkeeper well so late in the game that's a brilliant stop from the keeper big moment for him so making the substitution now can they forge ahead no and all because of the goalkeeper margins margins well, he has done well there, but he should have won the game. They probably won't get another chance now. He's given it straight to the opposition. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Crossing opportunity. Determined defending. Only five minutes left for play and tension galore with the teams locked together. In with a chance. Could have beat the keeper, unfortunately for him. Well, I think that's a bad miss. He just never looked convincing as he went through there. Marcos Acuna is with Paredes. Well, Argentina have really started to dominate the play over the last 15 minutes. Not just in terms of possession, but also with the chances they've created. And that winning goal is surely just round the corner. Cristiano Ronaldo. Perfect challenge. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. Happy to take on the shot. Determined defending. Tagliafico. Giving it a try. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Cristiano Ronaldo. Good pressure to regain possession. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. So away they go again, the first period of extra time, and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. Cristiano Ronaldo. 
Bernardo Silva. Well read to ease the pressure. Rodrigo de Paul. Guerrero. Must be. Oh, a goal! Can you believe what we're watching? It truly is a comeback and a half. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. On with the game then. 3-2. What will happen next? Good use of advantage by the referee. Very quick thinking there. Joao Felix. Fernandes. And it's fallen for Ronaldo. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And I have to say, the finish from Ronaldo is just brilliant. He's such a good technician. It's a wonderful goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. After that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Martinez. And they'll be happy to have regained possession. Well, it's been difficult for the Portuguese to get hold of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Tagliafico. Paredes. Here's Marcos Acuna. Just the challenge that was required. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Portugal finding space on the wing. Now let's see about the cross. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, that's it for the first period of extra time. Let's see what the second has in store. And away they go again. Second period of extra time has commenced. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. He goes short. Can he put it in? Nicely blocked. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here it is again. First to the ball, clever header and a good finish. He's done really well there. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, a save of the highest order. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. Well, still an issue here. 
Felix. Dallo. This could be it. Oh, dear, he's missed it. Well, that would have put the game to bed. He had to score there. Will it prove costly? Marcos Acuna. The ball with Martinez. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. In with a chance. Oh, they really might regret that. Well, what a big chance that was. That was the game right there. Portugal coming up. Cristiano Ronaldo. Really good challenge. And possibilities inside the box. A decisive clearance it was. And that is offside. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Poor pass. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Opportunity it is. Well, there it is. Real resilience for you, having been two goals down. Well, just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there, but they do take it well, you have to say. A final that will live long in the memory. It's not finished yet because it's going to come down to a penalty shootout to settle the outcome. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. And just like that, he's come up with the save. And the keeper denies them from the spot. And high into the top corner. Outrageous. So lethal in front of goal. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. And he succeeds in finding the bottom corner. Well, he's gone for finesse and it's really paid off. Oh, he saved it! Oh, a superb save. He had to score, and he does. It won't be lost on him what's at stake here. He knows he's got to score. Oh, that's it! The final act in the drama. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here.
Portugal, the world champions. And this is finally Portugal's time, fully deserved, best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.